Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and I'm inviting you to wake up and live. And today, I have been reading this book called The Book of Forgiving. How's that? There we go. The Book of Forgiving. And um, I haven't decided how I fully feel about it. I've had to skim parts of it. I don't really like skimming books, but um, it was pretty graphic. Some of the things that the people have been through that they get to forgive. Um, these people are from South Africa, been through a lot of the stuff with the apartheid movement and all that kind of stuff. So um, for me as a sensitive person, that's kind of hard to read. So I've had to skim a little bit. There are some activities in the book and some journaling prompts, and I really like that about this book. So, um, one of the things that the first activities that you do is you find a rock that you can carry in your hand and you carry this in your hand for six hours and then there's some germ, your non-dominant hand, so it's not, you know, so you're carrying it around in your non-dominant hand and then at the end of the six hours you do some journaling. So, um... Some of the journaling questions are um, about how, what you noticed while you were carrying the rock, um, whether it got in the way of what you were doing, and um, like, was it ever useful? I don't know, for some people maybe it was, it was not for me. And... Um, and then one of the most important questions is, in what way is this like um, not forgiving somebody, carrying that unforgiving person or situation with you? And um, then there's a couple of lists that I ask you to make. And so I did this. I thought it was kind of interesting because most of the time, well, it started out pretty cold and then it got, like, it was funny, it was pretty sweaty. Um, like my palm kept getting sweaty. At one point in time, I noticed, I was like, wait, I'm not holding that. And um, so I was like, I got to pick my rock back up. And I thought that was kind of funny because there are some times when I'm like, oh, I've forgiven somebody. And then I'm like, oh, no, I've changed my mind. I've got to, um, you know, I'm not ready to forgive them. I changed my mind and I kind of pull it back instead of like completely forgiving. And I thought that was kind of an interesting parallel to become aware of um, from the rock. The idea that um, carrying our unforgiving around like a rock is not new to me. It's something that in my religious culture that kind of comparison has been used my entire life. But I've never actually taken the time to carry a rock around and then journal about the experience. Um, it definitely got in my way and the times that I got in my way the most were when I was doing really important things and so my forgiveness they're definitely unforgiving not being forgiving to certain people or unwilling to forgive these situations definitely gets in the way and it's especially apparent when apparent when important things happen um, when there's important decisions to make, if I have not forgiven my mom for some of the things that she's raised me with, um, not like she ever planned to raise me with those limiting beliefs, but because, you know, she was just raised with them as well. But when I choose not to forgive her for those, those actually get in the way of me making the decisions that I need to make, and I find that fascinating. Um, so it was definitely interesting. And it's something that I recommend you guys do, you know, find a rock that you can carry around in your non-dominant hand for a few hours and then journal about it and how you feel about it, comparing it to um, forgiveness and here not willing to forgive. So that is my video for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll keep you posted on what I choose to do with my life as I'm still making career choice moves. I set the intention and life happens. Um, some pretty intense drama around um, supporting my family 
came up today um, because I set that intention that I would get some clarity and ask the right questions about what to do with my life um, as far as supporting my family. And I think that's kind of always ironic when you set an intention and the drama comes up. <laughs> um, not my favorite way to learn, but sometimes I'm stubborn. So, um, practice the forgiveness exercise so that you can kind of get some awareness of what you do, um, how not forgiving gets in your way. Um, the other thing that's interesting about forgiveness is here I'm reading this book about forgiveness. I'm setting about the intention and I went on Facebook today and multiple posts were about forgiveness and I was like, yeah, not a coincidence. Um, one of them was talking about being forgiven versus forgiving and, and the freedom that they are. I actually think that forgiving somebody is more freeing and feels better and feels more amazing than being forgiven. Um, a lot of times when you're forgiven, you may or may not even been aware that you were like that they had any reason to forgive you, you may not have even been aware of it. So it doesn't really weigh on you. But when we don't forgive somebody, that completely weighs on us. It burdens us. There's so many times when we don't forgive somebody and then we finally go and apologize and, um, you know, say, hey, I want to forgive you. And they're like, I didn't even know that I hurt you. I'm so sorry. I'm like, they're like, they weren't even aware that they forgive you or that they hurt you. And that's kind of how life is a lot of times is the things that we're carrying around as our greatest pain. The other person may not even be aware that they've ever even hurt you. And so forgiveness is about freeing yourself. Forgiveness is about letting go of those things that we're holding on to tight and letting them go and allowing the peace to enter into us allowing ourselves to view other people with love and gratitude and that's really what forgiveness is about um and remember everybody to let your soul shine big bright life and beautiful be the incredible you that you were created to be and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>